Hey guys, this is Mrs. Seagraves here. Since we are out of school right now, I wanted to make some videos for you so that you can enjoy music at home. Every song we will be singing today we've either done in class in the past or we are currently working on it right now. Along with these songs, I'm going to share some tips with you about how you can take the game that we play in music class and adapt it to play it at home with your family. If you have any questions about the worksheets I've sent home, or you just want to send me a video of you singing some of the songs that I'm doing, you can feel free to shoot me a message on Class Dojo, or you can send me an email, and I'll put my email on the description box below the video. So without further ado, let's get into our music class. Alright, so the first song we're going to do is B B Bumblebee, so I'll do it first. B B Bumblebee. Stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Let's do it together. Here we go. Bee, bee, bumblebee. Stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Here's the rhythms. Let's uh, speak the rhythms together on ta's and toddies. Here we go. Ta, ta, toddy, ta. Toddy, 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 ta. Toddy, 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 ta. Toddy, 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 ta. Now I want you to pause the video and I want you to chant the ta's and toddies without me. Go ahead and do that now. So the game for this is really easy. You do not need a bee puppet like I have in the music room. You can use a stuffed animal. You can print out a picture of a little bee and just use that. It's whatever you like. You can be creative. We'll just pretend whatever you use is bumblebee. So you and your brothers and sisters or your family members or whoever is with you will get into a circle. And what you'll do is somebody will take the object, the stuffed animal or whatever, and they'll tap each person on the head. Now, when we have a class of 25, each round I get three people out. I buzz three people, bzz, bzz, bzz. But what uh, I recommend when you're in smaller groups is to just buzz one person per round, all right? So it'll be B, B, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Bzzz. So you'll just buzz one person. And you'll keep going around until you have a winner. The last person, the person who is not buzzed, is the winner. Next song is Closet Key. It's been a while since we've done this song, so I'm going to sing it for you first, and then we'll sing it together. I have lost my closet key in some lady's garden. Help me find my closet key in some lady's garden. Sing it with me. I have lost my closet key in some lady's garden. Help me find my closet key in some lady's garden. Let's read the rhythm together on Taz and Toddies. Toddy, 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 Ta. Toddy, Toddy, Ta. Ta. Toddy, 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 Ta. Toddy, Toddy, Ta. Ta. Go ahead and pause the video and read it by yourself. The game for this is nice and easy because you can play it with just two people in your house. What you need is you need some kind of small object. I use a key in my room. You don't have to. You can use as something as simple as a bottle cap, a paper clip, a stuffed animal, whatever you'd like. What will happen is one person's going to close their eyes and the other person's going to hide the object around the room. After the object is hidden, the other person opens their eyes and the person who hid the key sings closet key as the other person walks around looking for the key. Now when they get close to the object or the key, they sing louder. When they get farther away, they sing softer. So it's kind of a hot and cold game. Sing louder when they get closer, sing softer when they get farther away. If you want an extra challenge, you could play this throughout your house, so multiple rooms, which is uh, just adds an extra layer, an extra challenge. So I hope you have lots of fun playing that game in your house. Our last song is 2468. We did this a couple weeks ago. I'll do it first. 2468. Meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, don't wait. 2468. Let's do it together. Here we go. 2468. 
six, eight. Meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. Read the rhythms on Taz and Toddies. Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Toddy, 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 ta. Toddy, ta, 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 ta. Pause the video and read the rhythm by yourself. So a couple weeks ago, we played this on the drums, and although you don't have drums in your music, in your home, I think what you can do is you can make objects into drums. So you can use things like the floor, the wall, the counters. You can use lots of different things in place of drums. So get creative. Um, you can do this as many times as you want. I'm going to use the wall because it's right next to me. So I'm going to drum on the wall. You drum on something close to you. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight. Meet me at the garden gate. If I'm late, don't wait. Two, four, six, eight. You can do this as many times as you want. I would love for you to get creative. And when you come back, I'd love to hear what kinds of things you turned into drums at your house. All right, so I have a book I'm going to read for you today. I know reading books in music class is one of our th favorite things. We often do it at the end of music class. Um, so the book I have for you today is Mama Buy Me a China Doll. We have read this book in music, but it's just such a beautiful book that I wanted to read it for you again today. Move over so that you can actually see the pages. Mama, buy me a china doll. Mama, buy me a china doll. Mama, buy me a china doll. Do, mommy, do. Where would we get the money from? Where would we get the money from? Where would we get the money from? Eliza Lou. We could sell daddy's feather bed, sell daddy's feather bed, sell daddy's feather bed. Do, mommy, do. But where would daddy sleep? Where would daddy sleep? Where would your daddy sleep? Eliza Lou. He could sleep in the horsey's bed, sleep in the horsey's bed, sleep in the horsey's bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would the horsey sleep? Where would the horsey sleep? Where would the horsey sleep? Eliza Lou. He could sleep in sister's bed, sleep in sister's bed. He could sleep in sister's bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would sister sleep? Where would sister sleep? Where would your sister sleep? Eliza Lou. She could sleep in the baby's bed, sleep in the baby's bed, sleep in the baby's bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would the baby sleep? Where would the baby sleep? Where would the baby sleep? Eliza Lou. She could sleep in the kitten's bed, sleep in the kitten's bed, sleep in the kitten's bed. Do, mommy, do. And where would the kittens go? Where would the kittens go? Where would the kittens go? Eliza Lou. They could go to the chicken coop, go to the chicken coop, go to the chicken coop, do, mommy, do. And where would the chickens roost? Where would the chickens roost? Where would the chickens roost? Eliza Lou. They could roost on grandma's rocking chair, roost on grandma's rocking chair, roost on grandma's rocking chair, do, mommy, do. And where would grandma sit, where would grandma sit, where would your grandma sit, Eliza Lou. She could sit in the piggy pen, sit in the piggy pen, sit in the piggy pen. Do, mommy, do. And where would the 
piggy sleep? Where would the piggy sleep? Where would the piggy sleep? The Eliza Lou. They could sleep in my own bed, sleep in my own bed. They could sleep in my own bed, do mommy do. And where would you sleep? Where would you sleep? Where would you sleep? Eliza Lou. I could sleep on Mama's lap, sleep on Mama's lap. I could sleep on Mama's lap, do Mommy do? The end. So let me know if you think she gets her china doll or if you think she doesn't get her china doll. Thank you so much for joining me for music class. Um, if you want to record yourself again singing any videos, I would love to hear them. I would love to see them. If you make any instruments or you do anything musical, um, please let me know. I would love to know what you're up to. So I hope you guys have a great break and I can't wait to see you again.